Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Katrin, I'm a medical student currently studying in Australia. In this video, I'll be taking you through a week during my general surgery rotation. Every Wednesday is a teaching day for me. Normally, I'll have a case-based learning session in the morning, which I normally watch it while having my breakfast. Then I'll do some exercise before heading to the uni for clinical practice. In the afternoon, there's lecture and I usually listen to them in the library since it's all being held through Zoom. This week's lecture will on obstructive jaundice and some population health research project thingy. I normally like to type the learning point directly into Obsidian, an app I use to organize my thought while the lecture is going on, which I'll be explaining on how I do it later on this video. The surgery lists are not fixed and I'll only go to the surgical theatre if there's surgery going on. My go-to surgery textbook is Bailey and Loves because I find that this book is easy for medical students to understand, especially for someone like me who doesn't really have many exposure to surgery before. After watching the surgery in the hospital, I like to head to the library after that to study based on the learning outcome I come up while watching the surgery. Since I arrived in Australia, Australia. Unlike Malaysia, Australia is a country where you manage to experience four seasons in a day because it's always so cold in the morning and in the afternoon it's always so hot. So it's always so hard for me to choose my outfit. Anyway, this Friday I got to watch a surgical cut up in the pathology lab. Then I went to the hospital cafeteria to pamper myself with a brunch. I didn't really get to record when I'm in the lab. But I get to see a few specimens like an inflamed appendix, the greater omentum and skin specimen. So now I just came back from my uh, general surgery rotation. I woke up at 6 today because I have handover meeting at 7am. And after that, I tag along a registrar uh, and follow him for ward rounds. And in the afternoon, I went to outpatient clinic and I observed how the doctors um, interview the patient and do their history taking it was so so good I wish that I can take history like them I'm going to show you guys how much stuff I learned today so I've recorded 35 things I learned today and usually for this I will just scribble it down and then I will transfer all the information from here to my um, laptop I'm going to generally show you guys how I normally study. I use Anki and um, Obsidian. I use Anki to memorize um, some medical knowledge and facts and stuff like that. And for Obsidian, it's sort of like a thing for me to organize my thoughts. So this is Anki. So this is the question. I will try my best to recall the answer. So this is the answer. So what I did is if I managed to answer the questions, I will go on and press um, good. If I can answer the questions in like a very short time, I will just go ahead and press easy. If I couldn't answer the question, I will either um, choose hard or again. If you choose good, one day so it means that so it means that the question will come out again after one day and easy then the question will come out again after two days and if you really couldn't uh, remember the answer or you couldn't recall the answer um, you can just press again and the um, flashcard will come back again later so this is what I use for uh, memorization and space repetition and this is obsidian um, this is how I organize my dots. Each of these dots represent a keyword. If I learn something or if I know something or if I um, find out something from the posting and hospital, I will just um, go ahead and create like a note. Let's say um, heart attack. So the causes of heart attack. Maybe high tension yeah it's already here um, hyperlipidemia yeah I haven't entered the keyword before so another one maybe um, hyper 
triple cholesteremia. Okay, so let's say this is um what I learned today, and I'll just like make every one of these words as keyword, and if I go on to this to select this open graph view, everything I type that is related to heart attack will come out down here. So as you can see, there's like heart disease, um, heartbeat, um, heart rate, heart attack and all the other keywords that I insert just now will become one of the thoughts here. So if you want to search for heart attack, you can just type in heart Okay, everything that is related to heart is being shown here. So this is heart attack and yep, heart attack. And another three keywords that I insert just now is okay, um hypercholesteremia, hyperlipidemia, and another one is hypertension. So like um, this is just a way to organize my thoughts. Weekends are always my favorite. As usual, I'll have my breakfast, review some Anki cards while having a cup of tea. I like to write down the answer for my Anki cards on a piece of paper while doing them just to keep myself focused. Well, I know it's hard to follow a workout routine during med school because sometimes you're just too tired to exercise after coming back from the hospital. But my advice is your health always comes first, and exercise can also help to keep your mind refreshed which is beneficial for your studies. I also like to read something other than medical textbook on the weekend to make sure that I'm learning something else other than medical knowledge. Having the time to cook myself fresh meals is also one of the reasons why I love weekend. I'm not sure why, but I still couldn't manage to find a time for me to cook in a weekday without feeling exhausted. So I'll always do some meal prep before the weekdays. Thanks for watching my video guys. Don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel if you love this video and remember to give yourself some self-care.